shrapnel. He got a couple cuts on his arm, and then he got what I think he got some medals of honor because he was there for nine days. But a lot of men served a long time, like John McCain. John McCain was a POW. He he was asked. Actually, John McCain came from, comes from a very wealthy family, and his father was willing to pay the North Vietnamese to get him out, but he wanted to stay with his troops to be at the POW camp. That gives you a little uh, a taste of who John McCain is. I grew I grew more respect for him over the time over the time that I I realized that he went through that terrible experience. But I really don't like John McCain that much. I don't like Republicans per se. But I'm willing to listen to their points. I'm willing to take on the tough issues like uh, lowering restrictions on small business. I agree with them there. Uh, making sure that our country has uh, opportunity for uh, growth in the private sector. That's really important. So they've got a few things that they can still carry a torch on. But uh, in no way do I think that they're embracing business in general as helping our country. You saw what happened with Reagan and trickle-down economics. It didn't lead to, to necessarily shared wealth for anybody. So I'm right in the middle. I'm a centrist. I'm right in the middle of the political spectrum. Yeah, well, his father had money, and I understand he tried to, to get his son out of North Vietnam. I'm sure we all uh, suffer from a little PTSD in life just driving on the freeway. I mean, when you look at it this way, Leroy, I mean, just going out in your, your car and experiencing the Ebola world around you, uh, you're getting PTSD just waking up. Your express rage, give me roses, I'll give you roses, give me crap, don't expect anything less than that. DT Laura, thank you. And thanks for your defending yourself, too. That's, that's good quality. Oh, he, he's a general. Your news, Bob Hope on his Vietnam shows. Thanks, I, Randy. Uh, Dave's tooth fairy is off on his tangent there. I, I think you might as well join uh, other people who are on tangents. You know, I don't know if a poor man can make them. I don't consider myself a poor man. I just live in poverty. I made a vow of poverty when I was young. John Kerry married a, a, a beautiful woman who had a stroke two years ago. And her, her double really does look a lot like her, I must say. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. I'm trying to just come up with solutions in the middle of the political spectrum. Uh, admirals and navies have money, dude. Yeah. Would I vote for a black female Muslim with ten wives if he could fix every problem in the USA? Small issues have nothing to do with fixing a country. Bohemian Grove is obviously a meeting place of psychotic Satan worshippers. John McCain's father was David. No, I'm not Masonic, and I have never joined, and I never will join a secret society. I'm not the kind of person that joins anything. I'm a, what are called, I'm what is called an iconoclast, an extreme iconoclast. I'm not a maverick. I'm worse than a maverick. I'm an iconoclast. I challenge the very of false belief. Uh, what, Biden's son? That, no reflection on Joe Biden, but yeah. You know, whose family doesn't have a cocaine addict in their family? Serious, Amy. Surely your family has a cocaine addict somewhere in your line. Jim Morrison's dad was an admiral in the Navy, too. Look what happened to him. Come on, baby, laugh hard. Try to set the night on fire. You know that I could be... A... Anyway, uh, Dave, how do you know you're, you're a reptilian considering you're a standard in society? I'm not a reptilian, that's the point. OPSEC. Gulf of Tonkin incident, false flag for war in Vietnam. There you go. Classic proof right before your very eyes. Thank you for that. Giraffe brain. I'm not a middleman, I'm the messenger. Buck Wild. I'm the guy that they don't like, they call a racist, because I say that the elephant is in the closet or that the emperor has no clothes. I'm the guy who's calling Barack Obama out in 2008, saying, hey, this guy's a flim-flam artist, he's a snake oil salesman, and I'm going to play a video to prove it. And I played my blackface video, and everyone said, wow. You know? If you look at the content of my blackface videos, you'll see that I really am trying to help the American people. I'm not trying to denigrate black people. 
I think I will be assassinated if you become president because of your massive changes. Absolutely fair by it. I have come to the uh, realization that I will be assassinated. Well, you're obviously a Satan with a 666 there, you know. Melko, his father was wealthy enough to make an offer to the North Vietnamese. I heard that. I have not gone over to Vietnam and asked the North Vietnamese uh, and they would never answer me anyways because, you know, I'd probably be sent to a POW camp. Okay, let's go here and ask Gulf of Tonkin incident. Let's just go on. Yeah, he was also on that amazing fire on the USS Fort, that plane that he was in. Man, don't tell me I'm a messed up cracker, because I, I think that's, that's racism, man. Y'all call me a, a cracker. So it's okay to call me a cracker, but it's not okay for me to, to do a impersonation video of Barack Obama. Boy, you got a double ethic, buddy boy. You need to wake up and smell the roses. Or the feces, whichever comes first. Jeez, wow. Rage, you to me. Oh, you don't know speak uh, Japanese well, do you, Wesley? Yeah, I bought the best router you can buy. It's a gaming router. Well, great, Amy. I hope you enjoy gaming. It'll be fun for you. You and your mom can, can hang out and play Xbox 360. We, we've enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, let's get, get down to business. Well, let's be clear. Now, you're not a racist. You just don't like Barack Obama. All right. This article show that President Lyndon B. Johnson twisted the Gulf of Tonkin incident into a false flag to start a war between America and North Vietnam. His actions would lead to the deaths of 58,220 Americans, an untold number of Vietnamese, Cambodians, and Laotians. You know, by the way, uh, they say 4 million people died as a result of this Vietnam War that we've never come to grips with. Had, had Robert F. Kennedy won the, Dem won the Democratic ticket, which he did, went on to become president instead of Richard Nixon, Robert F. Kennedy would have outed everything. He would have been the guy. Well, I'm glad you like the router. What's the brand name, Amy? I don't have a mental health history. <laughs> if I had any mental health problems, I would have a mental health history. But I've never had any problems. I'm a happy-go-lucky guy with a great attitude. Very upbeat. And you'd be as happy as I am if you were as happy as I am. You know, people like Robin Williams, those are the guys that need to see psychiatrists. Seriously. Living in a, a weird world of, of the absurd. They say that Robin Williams liked to, to retreat to the world of absurdity. And then, hey, thank you. He likes my teeth. She likes my teeth. I don't like to t anyone touching me now, unless it's a nice back rub and some spooning at night with the one you love. It's plug and play. I'm glad you're feeling good. <clears throat> Melka, what do you mean no payoff? I don't, I'm not, I told you I made a vow of poverty. I'm not looking for cash, Melko, unlike you. I hope his toxicology report shows the, uh, the suicide pill that was given, given to him. I don't need a range extender. I need to step out of my range. Well, Topper Dan, I wasn't blaming Johnson for the entire Vietnam War. I said in total the Vietnam War killed 58,220 innocent men who went off to fight our country's wars for no real reason in their mind. There is no impersonation of me. No one can possibly impersonate me. I'm the unimpersonal. Nixon didn't run on the platform of getting us out of Vietnam. That's a lie. Humphrey did, and McGovern did, you idiot. I lived through that history, you moron. God, I mean, you know, they say a little knowledge is, is very dangerous. And Topper Dan's basically got a loaded, a loaded uh, danger zone rolling in the chat room. My father fought for this country in Vietnam. Wow, Handler, hats off to him. Seriously. 
up and do their duty, and my dad did, and he won World War II.